Hello. Happy Thursday, everybody. I am currently wearing my um, Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. It's like really, really soft. It has this like fuzzy material. Love it. But I got my prints in and I'm so excited. So long story short, I, I think it was like two vlogs ago. I talked about how I didn't want to sell on Etsy and I was using a website um, to ship my prints. So after many weeks, I was going to say days, but it was definitely like weeks of contemplating whether or not I wanted to use Etsy. My plan was to sell stickers on Etsy and not my prints. But then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I'd rather just have everything in one place. And I do like that with Etsy, because the prints aren't being shipped directly from the company to the person who buys it, it kind of goes through me. So I'm like a middleman, which I really, really like because I can package them. I can make sure they're not damaged if they're going out. Cause I was kind of running into these problems where not a lot of the time, but it did happen is when somebody would buy my print and it would be like bent or something. And then it was just a whole thing trying to exchange it and return it. And I'd rather I personally am being control if that happens again. And I'm not selling like, a, I mean, I'm selling a few prints, but I'm not selling a ton. So right now I can, it's manageable. Not quite sure what my cat's doing, but if you hear noise, that's what it is. Boots, what are you doing? He's like playing with a string. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. But I wanted to show you the prints and just kind of what I've been doing the past few days. Um, first of all, I got a new phone. If you didn't watch the last, last week's vlog, I um, dropped my phone in the toilet at work. So I'm not using that one, and I ended up getting a iPhone 11, and I got a case, which this is my one of my prints, and it's super cute. I don't remember the website that I made it on, but I just got this in the mail like a few days ago, so very excited for that. This is my cat, obviously. Hold on, I think my cat wants to go out. Okay. So, I was cutting out thank you cards in the clip that was before this. Like an intro, I don't, I don't know what it's called. It was just clip four. But this are, these are the thank you cards. This is again a suc the succulent print, which I think I'm going to try to put up for sale. I need to do some tweaking with the actual artwork on the computer. So I'm going to be doing that too. And this is nothing to do with prints. <laughs> but my birthday was uh, on the 3rd. So I ended up getting this adorable llama. It's made of wood and it has this like engraving in it and it has these eyelashes and I love it. I think my cat's gonna jump down here. I'm gonna hold the cat. Yup. Max. Max. Oh my god. Can you not? Dude, get off. Um, but I want to put like an air plant in here or something or a succulent maybe. So I'm going to use this as a planter 
and I got it as a birthday gift and I'm very excited for it. So that's staying on my desk. Now I wanted to show you the prints. Let me take one of them. So this, they look so good. This is one of them. I'm like super duper happy with it and I'm super duper happy with the print quality. Let me let my other cat out. Okay, living with cats. As I was saying, I'm really, really happy with the print quality. Um, so this one is for sale. This one is on Etsy currently. And this is the smallest size, as I said before. And then I have two other sizes that it comes in. And then my elephant print, which is probably my favorite print that I've ever done. Looks so good. Look at this. Sometimes I'm like, did I draw that? It looks so good. And the quality is just so good. So this one does come pre-signed. The ones that don't come pre-signed, this one's only pre-signed because I sign the actual artwork. And then the other one that I showed you, I did it actually digitally. So when I send it out, I'm going to sign it. But yes, I am very happy I'm doing this for right now. Um, it looks really good. So I'm super duper happy with that. So those are the prints. And then I've kind of been deciding, I got a sample of mailers to mail them out. I already mailed a few out, but I really liked this one the best. So there's like a tab locking one, and then there's one that has an adhesive strip that you close. This one is a little sturdier, but the thing is, is I can't really this particular one doesn't come in a small enough size to ship the fiddly tree uh, print. So, I don't know. I think for the meantime, I'm going to use both of them. But they are, I get them from a company called Eco and Clothes. And they are 100% recycled cardboard. And then I put this in it that I also order to kind of stabilize it. So everything's recyclable. Oh my god. I didn't even mention. These cards, the thank you cards, are made of elephant poop. Which I think is so cool. They're completely compostable. I'm trying to be as eco-friendly as I can with uh, shipping materials. So... I really, I just, I think it's awesome that these are made of partially elephant poop and that they compost. Like, come on, how cool is that? So when I even put like a little thing on the bottom of the card. Right here that says, this card is made of elephant poop. You know, just in case you're wondering. That's kind of everything I wanted to show you guys. Oh, no it's not. So a few vlogs ago, maybe two or three, I talked about getting an iPad and I was having difficulty just drawing on my desktop, but I found a solution because I couldn't just go out and buy an iPad because I had to get a new phone. So unexpected expense, which is just as expensive <laughs> as an iPad, but I ended up getting this. And what this is, is it comes from Apple. I don't know how much it was. I wanna say it was like $100. Um, but it's a tracking pad, so I can actually like use my finger instead of using an actual mouse. And this, 
I love it. It works really, really well. So for the meantime, I'm going to be using this and kind of hopefully get an iPad in the future. I'm still working on my stickers. They're kind of on the back burner. I mean, I have the designs and everything, but as far as the production and getting everything made is kind of going to be a while because I want to get my prints up on Etsy ever since I kind of switched. So I'm still doing them. I just, they're going to be coming out a little later as soon as I can get my website kind of up and running and get more things on there. For the meantime, they're kind of on hold. I need to... What do I need to do? I spent the morning drawing. I drew for like five hours this morning and then I kind of took a break. Cut out those thank you cards while watching Criminal Minds. Got lost in Criminal Minds and now it's like three hours later. So <laughs> there's that. I want to work on my succulent print. I have to do some like tweaking on the computer before I actually put it up for sale. So I think I'm going to do that. My hair is just a mess. It's fine. So, it is a uh, few hours later. So, I was thinking of what time it was. It's uh, 8 o'clock. It has been a minute since I last picked up the camera. <laughs> I have been putting my cactus print for sale on my Etsy shop and I had to, so I had to do all that. As Etsy listings take a minute because there's a lot of information to fill out um, and then I also have to figure out which size works best for the print. And I need to update my website which I just finished that. All the while, I was, I've was i been listening to, what is this podcast? My, um, My Favorite Murder. It's a podcast. So good. It's hilarious. The two girls in it are really, really funny. And I'm really into it. I'm kind of into anything that's like crime related. Don't know if that's weird. Don't know if you can relate, but... You know, each episode they go over a murder and I don't know, it's just, it's really funny. <laughs> hey. Oh, I also ordered prints. So I ordered some of the cactus, or my cactus, the succulent prints. And then I also ordered some of... <laughs> the glass quail prints which if you don't know what I'm talking about let me pull it up for you let me turn you around so currently so these two are for sale these three actually I just put this one up um I just ordered more of these prints and then I also ordered some of these. So both of these come in 11 by 14 and then both of these come in an 8 by 12. I wanted to try to make them 
all the same, but these two just work better if they are larger, and I think it looks better if they're larger, so that's that. So it's coming along. As I was saying, I'm going to call the night. I made some stir fry. I don't know if you can see this, but we're going to try. So it's got some... I used the Trader Joe's um, ginger steak tips, ginger marinated steak tips, and then I put some zucchini, some asparagus, some peas, snow peas, and then peppers and onions. And that's really good. So I'm gonna have that. And then I'm also drinking a caffeinated beverage which I probably shouldn't because it's 8 o'clock and I'm going to be up till 1 a.m. But I have a lot to do, so I guess it's okay. But I really wanted to try it, which this is new. I don't know if anyone's seen this. Like, it's really good. If you like your mamate and sparkling beverages, I, I'm going to call it a night, guys. I see my battery flashing and I don't have another battery so probably should invest in that but i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you in a video very soon bye